Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Life Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna give you a breakdown of this uh, node setup that I made using Spreadshock add-on. So basically, this is some kind of a uh, random alien kind of structure um, made uh, procedurally using nodes. And it's, it's actually rather simple, but only simple once you understand it, but it's actually not that complicated. I was taken uh, inspiration from uh, SciZip, basically, he made this using just Blender modifiers and maybe I think with the help of animation nodes as well. But this is very interesting. Uh, I have a couple of ideas how to recreate this setup, but I'll create one first that's uh, kind of similar but uh, a little bit different. So yeah, if you look at this, it looks like uh, just an array of boxes, each with a random X, Y scaling. and yeah, but this is like actually happening in, in everything in one go. And if I ever need to add um, some kind of uh, randomizations, um, it is possible. I can do it very, very easily. And how did I create this? Um, yeah, actually, I could start from scratch. Uh, maybe it's quite easier to explain. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do it again from scratch. Earlier today, I made this and it was it stops at some point so let's start again so this is um alien tower tower zero zero one and let's get started we start from a box and this box we right click on it connect it to viewer draw so we have a box and this box, we can control the size, but how to scale it in X and Y? We don't have that control, right? We actually can make it very easy using matrix apply. And then here, in the scaling, we can control the X and control the Y. So let's do that. Vector in, control the X, control the Y. The Z is gonna be just, let's make it unit, one unit. So we can control this and Let's continue, and for this we can have random um, number. So random number, and it's gonna be um, let's say float for both s x and y, and between whatever value into this minimum and maximum. So seems like it, it is kind of working, but not really. We get some points, but no. We have ten different point vertices but only one edges so we gotta fix that but let's uh, let's also make the transformation matrix I'm gonna use line because line is a oops it crashes I'll restart real quick and because I save it don't worry I save it every seconds and here I wanna use a line and I'm gonna make an array of these objects and it's gonna grow in Z so in the Z and how many it's depending on this object right here so if you make five this one also need to be five and the stepping we can control the stepping should be the same as this guy right here so float floating value for the Z so this way the Z we can control and Let's have a look. So we have five vertices, five matrix transform. We have one edges, so we gotta fix that. Use list repeat. This guy need to be the same number as this. So we need to uh, now have a look. Still 515, we need to unwrap. So remember that this will keep everything clean. So now what we have, some kind of a tower generator and we can control the X and the Y very easily. We can randomize the seed and we can control how tall this should be. So that's, uh, this is our basic tower, but we only have one tower, right? How to make it like multiple like this? Well, there's a, uh, we can do that with a monad. So we have this simple basic tower, let's save it. And I can now uh, try to join but first of all, we have this data all separate. I want to join it as one because if I bake it, I will have 75 objects. So I want to 
join this together just this, this uh, apply matrix and then this guy goes in there use mesh join just join the polygon edge data and now if, if whenever I bake I only have a single object so yeah that's cool now this is pretty clean let's save it again let's turn this now into a monad a monad is going to be like a group that's cover all this so I'm going to select this guy and then tap spacebar and type in monad create monad from selected so now the output is going to be just this vertices and polygon edge the input is going to be the size the step and also the 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 seed of the random number so keep that let's go out of the monad let's call this a single alien power and here we can now have a multiple tower very easily just add a matrix and then add a like a plane array let's make it four by four and then like that's slightly bigger now we have like a multiple tower but if you notice each tower is actually the same exactly for each one of them if we want it to be a little bit more random we can do that um, using this seed so let's try range integer and the count should be 4 by 4 is a 16 different random number random integer plug into the seed so now we have different no it's still the same we need to kind of split turn on vectorize and split the data now we have a completely random uh, alien tower and even cooler is that you can also randomize the height so use uh, another range integer for the size here and let's make it between 5 and 15 and actually not range integer but a random number make it 16 plug into this guy make it a random number like so and now so we have some kind of alien tower all in a different height and yeah so this is really cool right it was simple monad and then it factorized and split the data itself for each of the tower you can even randomize the step if you like but i'm just gonna leave it here um, so anytime i want to make this like 10 by 10 so we have 100 different tower i can simply make this 100 variations for the height so now you have this alien kind of city building all is very easy simple nodes and then I do, I've, I've done this under just eight minutes so there you go this is not exactly what the size zip is doing here I, I'll try to make another one uh, that's kind of more like this uh, but I have a couple of ideas this is very interesting uh, to study he actually made this using just a blender modifiers combo I really like blender modifiers I actually study blender modifiers this one is a deep like a high level of blender modifiers combo I like uh, these days I'm using nodes a lot but although I'm using nodes I also still study blender modifiers and then kind of trying to combine the two so this is um yeah this is just a work in progress I guess I always continue study um, to make things like this um, so yeah I guess hopefully this one is useful let me know what you think if you have any question I'll help and I'll try to answer thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time Thank you. Bye.